all right all right if ungratefulness was a person it will be jd let's get into his recent ranting welcome back entertainment daily lovers if you are coming across our channel or page for the first time do not forget to follow us on facebook do not forget to subscribe turn on notification let's dissect and analyze together over here mm -hmm. trending gist celebrity gossip and much more content creator saga Mm -hmm. yes all of that we cover okay so let's talk about jd's recent ranting so you all saw the post that jd did we already made a video about that where he said he doesn't want his kids on social media and trust me the comments are piling up okay from 4.8 k to 8.8.1 8 as at yesterday when we we're checking it so there is several comments J uh, jd tried to respond to some of the comments and first he talked about weaponization because people were asking him why is it that right now you don't want the kids on social media even though you were the ones that were filming these children putting them on social media the second child was actually bet on a live stream on a, a facebook live what changed that's what the majority of the first commenters were commenting the questions they were asking him and he talked about well as at that time when he was still together with his ex-wife uh Cora Obivi, that they were not actually weaponizing the kids, but right now the kids are being weaponized. That's the reason why he wants the kids off of social media. And also, social media is so toxic. That's the reason, also, the reason why he doesn't want his kids. But all of this being said, JD forgot, okay, or totally ignored. Let's not say forgot. JD totally ignored pulling down his cover photo on Facebook. So up until this moment we speak, it is still there on his cover photo, the kids that he wants off of social media, but he's asking people to send him links so he can actually take down posts from other people's pages that are posting his kids, okay? And we also talked about why he was doing all of that. So if you've not seen the previous video before this one, you're watching, catch up on that so you get all those details. So talking about weaponization, I was like, who did weaponize the kids between himself and his ex-wife, Cora Obidi? The answer is clear and it is glaring. JD weaponized the kids. JD is the one that his gang members, they were suggesting to him to give the child a doll with a camera to take home, right? Y'all remember that, that uh, situation, okay? Mm -hmm. Also, who was the one that the children were interrogated asked why are you crying when your mom is giving you a shower is she giving you a bath with cold water it was jd who like who's the one that has been putting out that the other parent is terrible 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 jd has always spoken about how terrible of a parent his ex-wife is but his ex-wife have never spoken of how terrible he is as a parent okay so looking at so many other examples we can actually give shows that jd is actually the one that is weaponizing the kids recently he talked about how she was giving the children rotten food like he, he talked about how the children were running naked like everything he would try to point out my kids are suffering my kids are this my kids are that she's not doing this she's not doing that so he is the one that is weaponizing the kids but he's trying to shift he always does that right shift the blame on his ex-wife so that, that that was the first set of the comments but now the latest sets of comments that were now flowing in you could see that someone actually and i think this person was actually a supporter of jd and the person came up and told him that look it seemed like respectfully the person told him that like i i'm not i'm not planning to be mean or nothing but i'm just respectful i'm just trying to say this it's not coming from a bad place but you've been nagging for so long you've been doing the most and as a doctor the person even called him a doctor even though we know his license is expired and he refused to renew it but anyways that's story for another day so this person was telling, telling him you're a doctor and you shouldn't be on social media nagging and nagging and nagging. You spoke about educational content. We don't see those content coming. You're still doing the same things that you used to do that at some point you're going to start looking like a, 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 a you know, a, a nuisance. You're, you're just trying to, uh, you're going to lose your respect and everything. And instead of JD to listen to that, this person's comment, understanding that this is actually one of his supporters, trying to advise him, trying to get Get him to stop because enough is enough you've been doing too much and people are getting fed up even those that used to support you are beginning to uh, you know distance themselves from you jd came up and this was what jd had to say to that person's long comment the person said that the people that and jd responded by saying that the people 
in his comment section mm, listen to this that the people in his comment section cannot even afford his services so in other words the people that are supporting him commenting following him watching him making sure that he makes few cents here and there buying him coffee donating to his paypal his gofundme his cash app and everything else that he has that he's using to collect money people buying gifts for his children buying him gifts restocking his refrigerator giving him advice in private and all of those things that these people are doing for him coming to his comment section when he posts something they comment a lot of them will be screaming good that this praising him you know cheering him up he's saying these people are just worthless in other words like these are just useless set of people that are worth nothing and they are not even in his level remember uh some weeks back jd had actually bragged about the fact that he used to charge three hundred dollars uh you know he used to charge three hundred dollars per uh hour right so that he makes a lot of money and people don't understand that he's not he's not hungry he can take care of himself and his kids and whatnot but now jd came out putting coffee link even when he did birthday post for his daughter for his uh, daughter he added his link right to it saying that this is my uh buy me a coffee link you can support so tell me how is it that these people cannot afford you like you think you're really up, up there like the supporters these people so, well i don't even blame him because most of these people made caricature out of themselves they disrespected themselves he has insulted them he has disrespected them done the most to them but they keep supporting him and keep refusing to tell him the truth but they will always come in and cheer him as a doctor 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 even though we know he's not a doctor he's a chiropractor and that's what it is and right now his license is expired so he's just adjusting in the facebook vlogger but this set of people would not even be truthful to themselves enough to tell him the truth and that is why jd has grown this level of balls where he comes out and insults the same people that buys him coffee he insults the same people that supports him the same people that put their hands in their pocket to buy him things so i don't even understand how people can overlook this whole thing and not see through what